The natural history in medicine has been that we initially learn how to do things in a very invasive and very open fashion. Traditionally, ACL surgeries were done in an open fashion where the whole knee joint was opened and the ACL was replaced. Now they've developed that arthroscopically so they can do that through a couple of cameras and very small incisions. That same evolution happens through sports medicine and through our procedures where we take something that traditionally is very invasive, we try to minimize the invasiveness of that procedure. So we try and take that recovery and that incision healing time and substantially reduce it. That allows our patients to get back to what they want sooner. At Mayo Clinic, you have a team of specialists, not just one specialist at your disposal. You're gonna get a whole group of individuals, physicians, physical therapists, physician assistant, athletic trainers, who all work together to solve problems. Having a team is the foundation of developing minimally invasive procedures. So we gather clinical anatomists and orthopedic surgeons, sports medicine specialists, uh, physical therapists, sports medicine physicians, and we try and assess how can we improve this procedure or this outcome. And then together we try and come up with a solution and we test that solution before we implement that uh, for our patients. And once we've tested that solution and know that we can do something and we have assessed that it is a reasonable option for patients, then in a controlled fashion, as a team, we roll out that procedure and assess our outcomes and make sure that we're actually improving patient care by innovating. We've been involved in innovating new treatment options for patellar tendinopathy or Achilles tendinopathy. Some of those procedures include what's called a tendon scraping, where we can reduce the painful signal from little abnormal nerves that grow into the patellar tendon related to their tendon problem. And with that, we're able to take a traditional surgical recovery of several months down to a couple of days to a couple of weeks, which allows our athletes to return back to their sport the same season. Patients with plantar fasciitis tend to come and see us after they've been dealing with their pain for years or even decades sometimes. And they're frequently told there's nothing to do or they can get cortisone injections uh, and they try orthotics and they try physical therapy, but they still deal with the same pain. Some of the procedures that we're able to offer can take those patients and uh, reduce their pain substantially. And so we've found that some of our treatments offer uh, success in up to 90% of individuals who have been dealing with chronic plantar fasciitis. And so that can either include what we consider an ultrasonic fasciotomy or a platelet-rich plasma procedure. When we perform these procedures under ultrasound guidance, the complication rate drops to almost nothing. Typically, patients have no scar after the procedure. They have minimal pain after the procedure the complication rate is very low. If you send a patient to Mayo Clinic, we're gonna come up with the best solution for their particular problem. Whether that's no invasive treatment at all, a minimally invasive treatment, or a traditional surgical option, we have all of the options on the table and we can assess that patient's needs and figure out what is the best thing to try and get that patient on the pathway to recovery.